I feel like even though places are opening up, a lot of us find ourselves hard to stay productive. So today, I will show you my productivity setup and why I have what I have and how it helps me to stay productive in my home or outside like a cafe. But obviously you can do whatever you want, it doesn't have to be this kind of home office. Heck, it's not even office, I have my bed in the back, it's my bedroom. Or maybe in the dining room, in the kitchen. Or even it doesn't have to be a cafe. A lot of my friends, I know that they read their books or even study in the park when it's sunny. Or maybe if it's rain, they study in their libraries. They study in their car with their friends together. There's a million ways that you can do this. It doesn't have to be in a room or in the cafe like everyone do. That's just something to keep in mind with. And something that we all need to know is that in order for us to be truly productive, productive we need to accumulate all of these little things and combine it to be one to be together for example this productivity setup but you also need to be in the right room in the right temperature you maybe need to have coffee or tea with you you need to be silent or maybe have some music it all really depends on you so there's no one right or wrong things it's actually accumulate of all the things that work together for you to perform your best and obviously you gotta get your distractions out of here. Let's get into my first setup which is right here in my home. No setup is complete without your monitor or laptop. I use this Skepter 24 inch curved monitor. I'll link it down below if you are interested. And of course I connect it to my MacBook Pro. I also have a lot of different books for different purposes. This one is for brain dump, distraction journal, and random thoughts. It is not that easy to see it, but the cover and the sides of the book is already checked up pretty bad. This one is bullet journal, mostly for my morning journal, to-do list, and other more important notes. This one is a more high-end one, it's also from Indigo. Mainly, I use this for business stuff and if I have a meeting with someone, I usually bring this and take notes in here. Lastly, this is a simple sketchbook. I cannot draw nor sketch, but whenever I need to sketch something or just a simple like graph or chart, this is really good and really coming handy. Moving on, this is all rocket space heater. I will also link it below if you want to check it out. The cool thing about this is that it can be warm, hot, or even simply give you breeze fan, especially right now when it's really hot outside. On the side of my table, there are a lot of random stuff. As you can see here, this is the mic that I currently use. I will also link it below if you're interested. My DJI case, calculator, paper note, all the stationaries are here. My UV blocking glasses, lip balm, and lotion. Because my skin gets pretty dry, so it's important to have this, especially with the heater over there. And obviously, you cannot work without your earphones. It is just makes your work so much better. I use this Apple AirPods Pro, but you can really use whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So that's for my room. Now, let's go to the cafe. Welcome to standing at coffee at Korean Town. This is my favorite drink anywhere I go, Spanish latte. So this is how my table look like when I'm in cafe. Just my laptop of course, and my notebook and earphones and a lot of different stuff you can see here. I didn't bring the jack one, the other notebook, just because it is almost run out of space and I haven't buy a new one, so I kind of use it sparingly right now. So it is as simple as that. I think most people have a pretty similar set, Mine just happens to have more stuff. So let me know in the comment section down below if your setup is similar or maybe you're even more minimalistic or who knows, you have even more stuff because people sometimes they like to bring like extra screen or extra monitor even. Also let me know if there's any topic that you want me to cover in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again next Saturday.